day good day thank you guys for tuning in and welcome to my channel zolega mandela pinned down names of people she didn't want at her funeral before she died the author died on monday the 25th of september close friends and family will be at her funeral service taking place in Bradston methodist church she will be laid to rest at the Four Ways Memorial Park next to her two late children, her mother and grandmother Winnie Madigizela Mandela. In her diary, the name of the people she does not want at her funeral are Thierry Bashala, who is the father of her two children, Leroy Andikana, the father of her last born Zingwe. She also listed some people from the Mandela and the Madikizela family. Zenani Mandela Sr., Mandla Mandela, Zugiswa Madikizela, Ntundu Madikizela, and Buyele Kaya Dalie Nyebo. Zolega battled with cancer for 11 years and she prepared for her death before passing on. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at 32 years old and went on to have a double mastectomy. As if there was not enough, she lost her daughter Zinani, named after her aunt, in a car crash in 2010 during the FIFA World Cup. In 2011, she lost her newborn son, Zinawe, who was born prematurely in 2012. She married Thierry Bashala and they had two children, Zanyiwe and Zenzile, but later divorced in 2020. In 2020, Zoleka fell in love with painter Andile Kana and had her last born daughter, Uzinwe, in 2023. Oh, I don't know. When someone passes on and they don't want you at the funeral, then it means the beef was real, like really, really bad. I hope um, wherever she is, she finds peace with and just wish she had a chance to forgive this, whatever happened with these people that she didn't want in the list of her funeral. As for Nasty C, Nasty C addresses beef with Aries. Nasty C addresses the beef between him and Aries. The beef has long existed, but Daddy Oliver bears the truth about the beef, which he refers to as the weirdest thing ever. On El Tiro's podcast, Nasty C says the beef is complicated and a misunderstanding. I don't know what that thing is. It's like complicated. It's like a misunderstanding. It's dumb and it's stupid. He further revealed that he and Reese don't know what started the beef. However, he has reached out to A. Reese multiple times in, other, in order to prove to the world that there is no hate between them. Nasty C. Feather said, whenever they meet in public, there's no interaction, and some other times they greet casually. We don't know what started it. What we see each other, nothing happens. It is the weirdest thing ever. Speaking on trying to squash the beef, the No More Star said, I have tried to do that multiple times. I booked him for my Ivan Sun tour. Let's put this thing to rest, Nasty said. Every, everybody knows this Aries, obviously. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have a beef or there's competition. You know I'll be honest with you. Either, yeah. either me, I don't know what that thing is. So I call For it, real. it's petty spaghetti. So it's that's kind that. of... Bl- it's like, it's complicated. It's like a misunderstanding, but it's also fucking dumb. It's, it's, I've heard it's you address stupid. it on the record. Yeah, it's It's stupid. Stupid because when we when we cross why, paths, why why are you calling it stupid? Because we don't even know what started it. You understand? Mm-hmm. We don't we don't we don't know what started this thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He doesn't know. And then if you see each other, like what what is the energy? Just like I said, nothing happens. You it's not even like a bump of a shoulder or nothing. It's just like all right, I'm here, you're here, all right, whatever. We just do my thing, do your thing. Sometimes they'll even be like, yo, what's up? All right, okay, For real? Shit. Yeah, yeah, dap it up and shit? Yeah, it's, it's like I tell you, it's the weirdest thing ever. So why don't, why don't you niggas just speak about it then, if that's the case? 
But uh, the reason why is that I've, I've tried to do that multiple times. For real? Yeah. I've tried to do that. I even I even booked a guy at my, at my Iverson tour one of the years. I think it was 20... Oh, I remember. I was like... 17 there. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I booked him for that. I was like, yo. I DM'd him. I was like, yo. Listen, this is dumb. This... Let's, let's fucking just, you know, yeah. put this thing to rest. We don't even know what the fuck this thing is. Mm -hmm. Come to my show. This will go crazy. People will fucking wild out. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a... Thunder Ward recently hosted a fashion show to celebrate their latest spring or summer collection as well as the release of KO's latest single, Tata. The event was graced by celebrity runaway models, including Moda, Toss, and Shaga Ilemba star Lebo Khantipa. Fans were in awe of gorgeous clothes in vibrant colors as they made room in their monthly budgets to splurge on the Sikanda world apparel. The show hosted influencers as well as celebrities who dazzled the runaway in the latest Sikanda world threads. Nadir Naga. Naida Nakai, Mosley, Ma'i, and Mini Lamini were among the celebs who rocked the merch in style. Let's see. It's also quite interesting, the colours complement each other and you'll see there's also fine detail like the toggles and you get the rips up fabric so if you look at it from close like it's this whole check nylon look and then there's also a lot of varsity inspiration as you can see on the logos, utility varsity vibe and then also on the pillars there's branding and there's branding on the side. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of detail in them, and this is definitely also another thing. One that you cop out, she need the stick. Yeah, sipping the dirt up as close as never was keen on the fast route. Picture emotions to her, she go tweeting for repost as planned out. Cardi and flicking the wrist. 